Who are the other two? Sabina and Cole. Cole. Okay, I know that there are one or two other students who are coming. They're still probably looking for the venue, but we'll wait for them to arrive. And then, of course, girls in Durban, I don't know all of your names, but I'm going to get to meet you hopefully over the next couple of weeks and uh, get to see the names and the faces and, and maybe make a match. But just to let you know what it's all about, you need something to write with and something to write on every week um, for two reasons. One, if you take notes, it means that when we do brain teasers that you've done something similar, you can always look back in your notes and go, I know how to solve that problem. Okay? Can I have your attention, please? Sorry for the any disturbances to out of classrooms. Is it possible for Kirsten MacArthur or anybody sees Kirsten MacArthur to come straight to the secretary's office? That's Kirsten MacArthur. Thank you. Okay. And then of course we are going to be awarding merits starting today. And merits are like special points. If I see you guys trying very hard, and if I see you people trying hard, I'm going to be awarding you special points. And every time you earn a point, your name gets put into a hat. And at the end of the term, we mix up all the names, including the ones in Durban. And unfortunately, those people are going to have to win prizes. We've got disgusting, awful prizes like MP4 players and digital watches. And of course, we've also got movie tickets and vouchers at shopping centers. So if we have to make it a gateway or something like that, we can certainly do that. And for every 10 merits that you earn, your name gets put into a special hat. And at the end of the year, we give even more disgusting prizes like Xbox 360, laptops. We gave away a portable DVD player with built-in TV. So if you can handle that, because this year is our 18th birthday, we're also going to be giving away an iPad as well. So lots of exciting things to win, and all you've got to do is just try hard. And if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. Getting things wrong is an important part of the process because it helps us to understand how to get things right. Okay, so the girls in Durban, are you coping? Do I get a thumbs up? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right. So. What's going to happen is we're going to start off with some brain teasers. I am going to give you some notice and things towards the end of the lesson because the girls in Durban are only joining us for a shorter while than you guys. But um, I want to start off with a very simple brain teaser and maybe you guys can suggest an answer to me. There is this girl and she has the same number of brothers and sisters. So the number of brothers and sisters that she has are the same. That makes sense so far. You okay with that? But if you take any one of her brothers, they have twice as many sisters as brothers. So let's just go through that again. You have a family with children. One of the children, she happened to be a girl, she has got the same number of brothers and sisters. But if you go to any of the brothers and you say to them, have you got more sisters or brothers? Any one of the brothers will say, I have got twice as many sisters as I do brothers. How many brothers and sisters are there? And you are allowed to work together. You can discuss your answer. If you think you know the answer, try it out. The best method is the chuck it method. Take an answer, chuck it at the question, and see what happens. If it's too much, make it smaller. If it's too little, make it bigger. Okay? And you don't think about it. Have you got any students in your class that might know the answer? Yeah, we have. Was that a nice, easy one to start you off? Okay. Three boys and four girls. Three boys and four girls. So repeat how many how many boys? Three boys and four girls. Three Can you boys show me your four figures? girls? Say two boys and three girls or three because boys. the the, the sound is a bit muffled. Okay, sir. Three boys. Two girls, three boys. Other way around. No. No. Three, three, three boys and four girls. Three girls, two boys. 
Let, let me try this. Let me try this. Three. How many fingers? Okay, three. Okay. Three. Two. Okay. Two more. How many girls? Ah, uh, sorry, four. Three boys. Three boys. Three boys. Three boys. Yeah. And? And hold it. Four girls. We have a theory of three boys, four girls. What do you girls think? Cole, any ideas? Spring. You can talk about it aloud. Ilhan, what do you think? You have a theory of one boy and two girls. Hana, you come to join us for living mats. Is this our friend from Portugal? Yes, yes, yes. Come and join us. Come and join us. You can come and sit down and you see what we're doing today. All right. And what is your name? This is not the Madalena. Oh, not the Madalena. Madalena is in the classroom. Right now, she probably will go to swimming. Okay, all right. So, if she wants, uh, does she want to come and join us when she's, if she's not ready or she is ready, she's welcome just to come see what it's about. Okay. okay. All right. Do any of you girls in in Durban speak Portuguese? No. 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 no? Because we have a young girl all the way from no. Portugal, so we're hoping uh, maybe we can uh, try and communicate with her. I'm not sure if she even speaks English. But we have a theory of one boy and two girls, three boys, four girls. In both cases, you'll notice that there's one girl more than a boy. Some children have suggested maybe it is four girls and two boys. But that's going to be a problem. And the reason why is because if you take one girl, how many sisters does she have? Three. And how many brothers does she have? Two. So you cannot have a difference of two to begin with. And that also helps us when we're taking our guesses. When you try it a few times, you'll realize if the gap is too big, it's not going to work. So then we go with this one or this one. Let's try this one over here. Ilham have suggested we have one boy and two girls. If you have one, one of the sisters, she has how many sisters? One. And how many brothers? One. But then the brother has got no brothers and he's got two sisters and two is not double zero. So that can't work either. And then we go all the way to Durban and Durban has suggested three boys, four girls. So if, for example, we take one of the sisters, one of these sisters would have three sisters and three brothers. And if you take one of the brothers, he will have two brothers and four sisters, which is twice as many. Does that make sense? So well done to the girls in Durban. That was quite fast. But don't worry, I've got some tough ones for you as well. Okay. Was that nice and easy to start with? But remember, it's not for marks if you get things wrong. That doesn't matter. What's more important to me is that you understand how to do them, and then you can go try these on your moms and dads and drive them crazy. All right. So here's one, especially for the girls in Durban. In the old days, when we used to go to the bank, they would give us a material bank bag. Now, if you ever watch movies where they've got cartoons of people robbing banks, they always come running out of these material bags that have got dollar signs on them. Have you ever seen that before? They don't do that anymore because you would never walk out of a bank with a big bag that's got a dollar sign on it. Certainly not in Cape Town, and I doubt you would try it in Durban either, where, of course, you wouldn't want people robbing you in the middle of broad daylight. Now we do things from a digital point of view. So what happens is you go to the bank, and the lady behind the counter gives you six bank bags. All right? So you might have to draw that. Come on in. Come on in. I just want to tell you something. Yes. She needs to go to the street. She needs to go to the street. Okay. Uh, you can come back after she. Uh, she can absolutely. So we can talk for five minutes. We'll work it out. We'll work okay. It. All right. Because yeah. we want to try and get it to start speaking English, and the best way to do it is just to try to read. Okay. That's all. <laughs>
Okay? All right. And what is your name? Madeleine. Very good. That is your name. That is excellent. Madeleine remembered her name and is also very good. Okay. And what we will do is we're going to try and get a school from Portugal to join us as well. So then you can also chat to them during the lesson. All right. Excellent. So how do you say goodbye in Portuguese? Adios. Adios. Everything's going to be on the end. Adios. Very nice meeting you, and we'll see you later, maybe. Okay, excellent. All right, so Madeleine is hopefully going to be joining us a little bit later. So, you've got six material bags, and the lady behind the counter has got 63 one rand coins. Okay? And she asks you to take the one rand coins and put them into those six bags in a special way. Then you have to seal the bags. You can't open them again. And she will ask you to give her any number from 1 up to 63. And you've got to give her the exact number that she asks for without adding any coins in the bag or taking any coins out of the bag. So girls in Durban, did you get that? You get it? There's a bit of a delay. Yeah. Yeah. You got that? Okay, I'll, I'm going to explain it again just in case. You've got six bags. I'll draw it for you. I am going to lift this up a little bit. There we go. So you guys can see that. Uh, we don't have much of a board duster. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags. We have got 63 one rand coins. 63 one rand coins. We need to put those 63 one rand coins into these six bags. Let's pretend I put 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 13. Do you agree I have 63 one rand coins? Okay? Now the lady behind the counter says to me, can you please give me 10 rand? What do you do? You give one of the bags. However, if the lady said to you, could I please have 63 rand, what would you do? Give all the bags. If she said to you, could you please give me 23 rand, what would you do? Cole? Two bags. The 10 and the 13, that would make 23. What would happen if she asked for 53 rand? Girls in Durban, what would you do? Four of these bags and one of those, and that would make 53. Thank you so much. That would make 53. Very simple. But of course, if the lady at the bank asked you for one rand, you are in big trouble. You cannot give one rand. If she asks for seven rand, you can't give seven rand. So you need to find a way to put the coins into those six bags in such a way that you can make any number from 1 to 63. And the best way to try and work this out is to experiment. So try and make little experiments, put your bags out, put the numbers in, and see if you can come up with a way to make any number from 1 to 63. Carl, have you got something to write with? And something to write on? Maybe we can find you some spare paper. It's fine, I'm going to get Okay. Oh, oh. And this must be on silent. Okay. So have you guys got any ideas? Derbs, I, I can see you working feverishly at this one. Hmm. But there's a huge advantage to learning the answer to this one because I'm going to teach you a very cool trick that will annoy people around you once you know how to do this. Just to show you that you're not the only ones thinking. You can see a lot of hard thinking going on at the back of the classroom. I'm 
around and look. So what do you want that? What kind of ideas are you getting? So I mean, you're going to start something. You're going to put numbers in some of the bags, and let's see if you put too much, too little. But you've only got 63 bags, so obviously you can't get more than that. And you can't use less than 63. And I can see the people in Durban are definitely there. They're working. So they've got the tables right here, so they're all like kind of sharing answers together. Girls in Durban, are you sharing answers? Because you are allowed to. Close the door again. Has someone got an answer in dips? Antonia, do you have an answer? I'm not sure. Do you want to try? Yeah. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Try it. You know what? If you've got an answer, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Hi. You're not going to get hit by a bolt of lightning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to try and write this on the board. And next week I'll try and bring a webcam that I can just put on top and I can swivel it around. Okay. Tell can't We can't see the board. You can't see the board. Hmm. I think you so might you be able to see. Then so you can't see the writing. Then so the writing on the board. We can't, we can't see the writing on the board. You can't see the writing on the board. I mean, they did give me a mark of pens. I'm going to try it on this board over here. It's not a great white board, but let me see. Can you see that? No. No. <laughs> Move it closer. Oh, uh, maybe your screen is too small. Is that better? No. Invisible. No. Uh, okay. So we're going to have, unfortunately, like I said, these cookies and this board that they've given me is not great. We are going to get a proper classroom. Uh, yeah, that's also no good either. When I do get my projector, I will be able to uh, share a screen with you on the board. In fact, what we can do is... We're going to try and maybe put I drew on for next week, and that means we can then scribble on a screen. And when you guys scribble on the screen, I can see it. When I scribble on the screen, you guys can see it as well. And then it'll also be up on the board for the students to see. So I'll just have to listen to what you're saying, and, I, and I'll try to write it down for them to see, but at least you'll have it on your board there. So how many should we put in each bag? And you can type the numbers in on the chat part. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a little blue box that says chat. I think it's second from the top. Yeah. If you click on that, then you can just type in the numbers in okay. each bag. Okay. So, you want to do it? Is it right? Do you want to no, chat? I'm going to test it the Tell him, tell him you tested it wrong. Oh, I've tested it, but it's wrong. You <laughs> tested it, wrong. but it's wrong. Well, maybe you're on the right track. Maybe you, you've given everyone a good start. So let's hear what you think. What you said, look. Okay, well, I said one of the bag, uh, two of the bags have two in them. Two okay. Bags. Two bags. Two bags had two. Yeah. 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 Um, two bags have one. Two bags have one. So then you've used up four, six. Mm. And then another bag has ten. Another bag has yeah. ten. And That's then 60. the last bag. And the last bag must have? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. But now you do realize that... If I said to you, can you give me exactly seven seven rand? Could you do it? No. Yeah. Could you give me twelve rand? Could you give me forty one rand? So then what I would be thinking is if I was doing this myself, I'd be asking, do I not need Bags that have got like middle-ish numbers in between 1 and 63. That 
I could use small numbers to get the little numbers, and I could use the middleish numbers to build up to make the small, the, the, the bigger numbers. Does that make sense? I shouldn't have like huge gaps with a big number and then small numbers. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Let's see what you come up with. We've got another answer. Another answer. Let's hear it. Yeah, there we are. One bag has one. Yep. Okay. Another bag has two. One bag is one. One bag is two. Yes. Another one has thirteen. Fifteen. Thirteen. 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 Thirteen, yes. Nineteen. Okay, but now can you make eight for me, please? No. no. Oops. No. So there goes that theory. Okay, very nice. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Any ideas? Are you getting a theory? Let's have a look. What is your theory? Three, twenty, seven. And if I said to you, can you make... Eleven. You make eleven. You see, but you have to have sixty-three altogether. Sixty-three altogether. Got sixty-three altogether, but then can you make one? Oops, you can't make one. Have you managed to work it out? You're on the right track. And I can't see nine. Okay, so I'll tell you what, we're going we're gonna to go to the answer because I want to show you how we can then take it one step further. Okay, so girls and derbs, are you ready for this one? We're going to go through the answer in this one. I want you to write down the following. Bag A is going to have one. Bag B is going to have three. Bag C is going to have four. Bag D is going to have 8, bag E will have 16, and bag F will have 32. So it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Can anyone pick up a pattern there? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. You're not really counting in twos, listen. One, two, four, eight. Sixteen. Counting in? Not counting in eight. Thank you. Right. What, Deb, what do your girls think? Doubling is correct. Obviously, you are doubling. These are what we call binary numbers. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what's so important about this. That if you put the numbers from 1 all the way up to 32, so you do 1, double it to 2, double it to 4, double it to 8, double it to 16, double it to 32, here's the interesting bit. Pick any number you want from 1 to 63. Uh, who's sitting in the front end derbs? Your name? Puja. Puja. Okay, pick a number from 1 to 63. Go for it. 17. 17. How do you make 17? What do you think, Sabina? This bag with 16 and the bag with 1. Easy peasy. Come on, that wasn't even a challenge. Cole, can you give me a number from 1 to 63? Um, 36. 36. So we'll take bag 32. And bag number 436. What happens if I need you to make 62? What do I do? All of them except for bag number one. Because you know that all of them make 63. So if you take the one out, you're left with 62. So here's what you do you go home to your moms and dads today. And you say to them, I would like 63 marbles or 63 beans, whatever it may be. And you put them into envelopes, envelope A, B, C, D, E, and F. And they will go 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. And then what you do is 
you ask them to pick any number from 1 to 63. And they'll go 48. So what you do is you think in your mind, how do I make 48 from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32? And obviously, you girls would know, you're going to add 16 and 32. So that is bag F and bag E. So what you do is you then take envelope F and envelope E, you put them down the table, ask your parents to open it up and count the beans. And there will be exactly 48 there. Then you ask your mom and dad for them to try it, and you pour all the beans out. And you let them try and work out exactly how to put the beans back into the envelopes. And if they get it wrong, I'm afraid they're going to have to give you a chocolate. Are you going to try that today? But now, of course, we can go one Yay! step further. <laughs> we can, and, and I knew when I mentioned chocolate, they would get you excited. Now, what is interesting about this is that there is a very famous trick that sometimes people keep in your lucky packets or your Christmas packets. It's basically a set of cards. And people ask you to pick a number from 1 to 63. And they ask you, is it on this card? Is it on this card? Is it on this card? And if you say yes or no, they can work out what your number is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find this game on the computer here. And I'm going to try and send it through by sharing my screen. So now we're going to really test the technology here today. And I suppose that's what today's lesson is all about, just test to see what we need to do and what we need to fix up with regards to the technology. And I'm just trying to think, wow, you know what I could do? Maybe I could log myself in on the iPad so I'd have two of me in one classroom. Wouldn't that be cool? That's like double trouble. Okay, so I've got the, the program open. I'm just going to find the actual file. And here it is. The magic mind reader. And don't worry, Beth, I will email it to you so that your students can try it on their friends. And I'm going to open up. Where is my. Yeah, and I'm going to share screen. Here we go. Girls, tell me if you can see this screen over here. Wonderful. So now you guys, you're going to have to come round, come round. Okay, so now they can see what we are looking at at the screen over here. Don't you love technology? Okay. I would like you, Sabina, to pick a number from 1 to 63. Do not tell me what it is. Have you got one? Don't tell me what it is. You got one? Okay. Girls in Durban, is the screen changing? Yes. Good. Is your number over here? No. Is your number here? No. You can't see her number there. Is your number on B? No. no. Sabina's number is not on B. Is it on C? No. Is it on D? Can't see your number yet. Is it on E? Yes. So it is on E and is it on F? Sabina must have chosen number 48. Now, how did I know that? Let's try one in Derbs. Ms. C, can you please pick one of your girls? Right. Um, go, Antonia. Okay. Right. She must choose a number from 1 to 63. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank Is you. your number on screen A? No. No. Is it on B? Oh. 
Without no. No, it's not on A and it's not on B. Is it on C? Yes. It is on C. Is it on D? Yes. Yes. Is it on E? Yes. Is it on F? No. You must have chosen 28. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, how did I know that? Now, you see, what people don't realize is that this is not a, a difficult trick at all. Let's go back to the brain teaser we just did. What were the, the six bags that we had on the board? There was one, two, two four, eight, eight, 16, 32. So girls in Durban, what do you notice about the top left-hand corner number? It's one. 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 And on the next slide? And on the next slide, and then, and then, and then, thirty-two. So those are the six bank bag numbers. And what I've done is, if I had to ask you, how do you make three? With the bank bags, what would you choose? One and, two. one and two. That is why, if you look on A, which is the one, you will find a three there. And that is why, if you look on B, which is the two, you'll find a three there. But you will not find a three anywhere else. Does that make sense? Because the numbers that you see on the screen are the numbers that you can make with those bank bags. So here's how I'm going to... Do it. I'm going to choose a number all of you. And you're going to have to work out what number I chose. And the way you do it is you look at the top left hand corner. If I say the number is on that page, you keep that number in your head. And if I say the number's on the next page, you add the left hand corner numbers together. If I say it's not on that page, you just obviously ignore that left hand number. So let's see if you guys can work out what number I'm thinking of. See, I've got one. Yeah. It is not on slide A. Okay? It is not on slide B. It is on slide C. It's not on D. It is on E. It is not on F. What was my number? 20. Girls in Durban? 20. 20 is the correct answer. 20. Isn't that fantastic? 20. Brilliant. Okay, so now you guys can take a seat and we're going to try and get back into normal mode again. Let's see if we can switch back in. Is my video back again? Um, yeah, um, Steve, you, the girls have got to go now. We, yeah. we start to cut it past three. So do you mind if we leave, if okay, they now leave now? They go, and some have got to go. Before they go, yeah. I just want to take a photograph of all of them because it was a very exciting thing. So in fact, all of you come stand around the computer. Photographs of all of you together. Make sure you can all be seen in that picture. So huddle around the laptop if you can. Come on, okay. there we go, there we go, squish in, squish in. And let's see if we can get you all in with the girls in the background, the boys in the background. Okay, now when you speak, then your picture will appear on the screen. To so say something? Hey. Hey. So people in Durban, you've got to say hello. No. 
Brilliant. Okay, and I'll email these to you. And of course, this will all be on YouTube. I will send you the link so that you guys can show your parents what your first lesson was all about. And then obviously we're going to work out what we still need to iron out in terms of the technology. Maybe we'll just do Skype so we can get a full screen. And when we have the projector, we'll obviously get it right. But thank you very much, girls, for coming along. And now I'm going to spend some time with the, the, the kids for the rest of the lesson. Uh, it was very nice meeting all of you. And we look forward to seeing you guys. Thank you.